Stephanie and let's talk books. So I just got back from Ikea and look what we got. Billy bookcases. I'm super excited to get these bad boys set up and reorganize my books. So as you can probably tell, uh, this bookcase is a really cool configuration. Not super structurally sound at the moment. Super, super Boeing, especially in this top section. So this one is going to go. I also have this overflow bookcase in the closet, which I would like to be empty. Eventually this is going to be the TV stand and console holder for our game room when we get that set up, but we haven't got that far yet. There's, you know, lots of junk in the closet, but hopefully no more books. And then here's my main bookshelf, which is the same sort of design as the other one. This one is holding up a lot better. It fit together better out of the packaging. So we're going to repurpose this uh, for something a little bit lighter than books, but this will all be getting reorganized as woohoo! Bookshelf is done! So now I just gotta put all those books and all those books on the shelf. I don't really have a great way to film this while I'm actually putting all the books on the bookshelf, so I think I'll probably just do a couple of check ins here for you guys. All right, so I definitely have lots of space on this bookshelf. So right now I just kind of have, whoops. Yeah, not working out so great. Up on the top shelf are my special Sanderson books, including all of my autographed ones. Then I have this one, which is mostly US editions. Then I have my white UK editions, and then the UK edition of Rhythmatis, which is for whatever reason, black. And I got some favorites on this shelf, mostly YA, but I also have my Age of Legend down there. Or sorry, Legends of the First Empire. That's the name of the series by Michael J. Sullivan. Age of Legend is the fourth book in that series. And then down here I have my adult hardcovers. So I think I'm going to play around with this a little bit and maybe put some of these books front facing to kind of fill up the space as you can see they're kind of falling over everywhere but that's where i'm at so far okay and i also put out a little bit of art here i've got a nice little sanderson postcard up there on the shelf i decided to turn out the uk edition of skyward and my little gift edition of Rhythmatist because it fit in that space nicely. I do want to get this really beautiful calligraphy that I got for Christmas in a little frame just to protect this art and be able to display it a little bit nicer. And then my little Doom Slug sticker is back on this white Sanderson shelf. The nice thing about this shelf is a lot of these books are very similarly sized, so I could totally swap out which ones are facing forward whenever I'm feeling a little bit bored of the shelf, but I do love my pretty white shelf. And then we've got Renegades and Age of Myth turn on the shelf. There's still a little bit more space, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll get more books. And then Polgara the Sorceress. And then on the bottom shelf, there wasn't really enough sh space to turn anything out, especially because I have one book that's currently out on my TBR cart. But that will do for now. So let me back up and give you guys the full effect of the shelf. Ta-da! She looks super pretty. All right, so here is my first kind of pass at organizing my two new bookshelves in here. We've got paperbacks on the top shelf, then I have a Harry Potter shelf, a Robert Jordan shelf, a Star Wars shelf. That empty shelf will be another Star Wars shelf, but I haven't got the stuff out there for yet. More paperbacks. Then we have some 
graphic novels and way down there on the bottom are my husband's book. He's got one shelf of fiction and one shelf of nonfiction. But look, oh, books are gone. Books are out of the entertainment center. Books are on the bookshelf and there's lots of space. So that was my bookshelf set up and reorganization with my new shelves. I'm sorry I couldn't really film while I was putting books on the bookshelves. Uh, my good filming camera cannot zoom out further than this. This is about as far out as it can zoom. It's all the way back against the opposite wall of this room. And I don't have a tripod or tripod attachment for my phone, so I wasn't able to film on my phone. But I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know down in the comment section below if you would be interested in a more detailed bookshelf tour. And if that's something you guys are interested in, I will happily do that. But thanks so much for watching.